what we do. We leave the car here. We take the plates off. We scratch a serial number off the engine block and we walk away. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV scandals that got episodes banned. Oh, well. <laughs> Never looked a look a gift broom in the mouth. Might as well sweep all this garbage up. For this list, we'll be looking at the most controversial episodes from popular series that were problematic enough to be cleared from the show's catalogue. Did you see any of these episodes before they were wiped from the small screen? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Party It Up. Shake It Up. The Disney Channel sitcom Shake It Up created a lot of controversy in 2010. In an episode titled Party It Up, characters Cece and Rocky find themselves at a party where they meet a model who tells them, You're adorable. I could just eat you guys up. You know, if I ate. <laughs> <laughs> the line did not sit well with Disney Channel alum Demi Lovato. The singer, who has dealt with their own eating disorders, took to Twitter to express their anger towards the network. Shortly after the episode was pulled, re-edited and put back on the air without the harmful line. And then after that, all we have to do is just figure out a way to crash the newspaper's website and we're home free! Another Disney series, So Random, also earned backlash for a similar joke in poor taste. Angus only eats one full meal a week. Ask him why. Uh, actually, I, I don't want My that. agent's always on me about licking my beast. <laughs> Team, believe it! Number 9. Mr. Skinny Legs, Peppa Pig since first airing in 2004, Peppa Pig has become a children's television phenomenon, and therefore quite influential. So, when an episode featuring a lesson about spiders aired, there was some concern. The episode titled Mr. Skinny Legs followed Peppa's family befriending an arachnid, teaching its young audience not to fear the eight legged creatures. There's no need to be afraid, Peppa. Spiders are very, very small, and they can't hurt you. It was a message with good intentions, but it's important to note that not all spiders are built equally. The episode was pulled in Australia, home to some of the most dangerous spiders, given that the message was not only false, but potentially hazardous to children who live there. Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? Number 8. No Sugar, Sugar, Hannah Montana Oh my gosh, look at all the cupcakes. Oh uh, yeah, you really should get that homework done. It's not going to do itself, mister. Let's go. After an early screening of an episode with a misguided plotline, some reached out to Disney to voice their concerns. No Sugar Sugar sees Miley and Lily discover their friend, Oliver, is diabetic and attempt to keep him safe from candy. Of course, chaos ensues when they go to a party where sweets are plentiful. Guys, I have type 1 diabetes, which means I can't have stuff with sugar in it. As long as I manage my diet and monitor my blood sugar with this. With an influx of worries flooding in after the on-demand viewing, Disney Channel removed the episode, reshot and renamed it Uptight. Oliver's all right, so that it could air in the following season without spreading misinformation. I guess I should have rinsed off that pamphlet before we became the food police. Number 7. The Great Mac Grady Arthur The sports world was rocked in 2012 when news broke that cyclist Lance Armstrong was being investigated for performance-enhancing substance use. A couple of years prior, the once-celebrated athlete appears as a special guest on an episode of PBS's long-running series, Arthur. I was wondering if you wanted to go for a ride. My bike's downstairs. That is, if it's okay with your parents. In The Great Matt Grady, Arthur and the gang tend to their school's lunch lady, who is diagnosed with cancer. Armstrong, a cancer survivor, appeared as an animated version of himself to help the young characters cope with the heavy news. I just wish I could do something. Being a good friend is doing something. Do you think there's a plant somewhere that could cure cancer? Maybe in the rainforest? There might be, and you might be the person to discover it. But until then, I can think of some other ways for you to help. By the time the scandal happened, the episode was already airing as a rerun. PBS took it out of circulation, and in 2021, a new version aired where Armstrong was replaced with a character named Uncle Slam. Your letter really moved me, Francine. Took my heart, tossed it around in the ring, and pinned it. Number 6. Partial Terms of Endearment Family Guy Family Guy has never been afraid to ruffle feathers, and in 2010, it even challenged its own network. Fox banned an episode of the series called Partial Terms of Endearment due to its storyline featuring abortion. Unless you go down there and I'll blow the place up. You wouldn't. You've seen Family Guy, you know I would. The plot follows Lois becoming a surrogate for her old college roommate and her husband. 
After she becomes pregnant, however, the couple is killed in a car accident, and Lois must decide whether to carry the pregnancy to term. In the end, she decides not to. Well, I have to say I feel a little better about it. I think this may be the right thing to do. The episode was prohibited from being shown in the USA. Still, critical responses were largely favorable, and that summer, Partial Terms of Endearment made its debut on the UK network, BBC Three. Yeah, I'm sorry if you disagree with me, but according to the law, it is still my right to choose what I do with my body. Number five, Electric Soldier Porygon, Pokemon. Pokemon once caused a major health scare due to an on-screen special effect. In the episode Electric Soldier Porygon, Pikachu creates an eruption of electricity, resulting in flashing light. The strobe effect caused some children watching to become ill. <laughs> Many experienced seizures and over a jaw-dropping number of 600 ended up in the hospital. The fallout from the episode known as Pokemon Shock was swift, and the episode hasn't seen the light of day screen. Other animated series like The Simpsons and South Park have also parodied the incident, proving that this scary event will not be forgotten. Mark, what are you doing? Number 4. Episode 847, Sesame Street Something must be going on up there with the weather. Boy, it's kind of spooky, you know, weird. Sesame Street is one of television's most educational programs, but in 1976, it received a harsh lesson of its own. Infamously known as Episode 847, Sesame welcomed guest star Margaret Hamilton, reprising her role as the Wicked Witch of the West from The Wizard of Oz. Hamilton goes on a journey to retrieve her missing broomstick and, in the process, scares residents like Big Bird. Oh, my fine feathered friend, you've got my broom now. Well, and I'm not your fine feathered friend. No, you're not. Well, give me back my broom. No, don't, 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 don't give it up. Don't give it up. No, give it up. no, no, no. Give it up. no, no, no. Uh, Not only were the cuddly characters terrified, but so were the series' young viewers. Parents' complaints to PBS were heard loud and clear, and the episode flew right off the air. All I want to do is to get out of here and fly home to Oz where I belong. Number 3. Topless Showgirls – Dance Mums There have been so many controversial episodes of Dance Mums, but one episode in particular is truly shocking. I'm hot. I mean. You can't have me. You can't afford me. During Topless Showgirls, dance teacher Abby Lee Miller choreographs a fan dance for her pre-teen pupils. In Western culture, this type of dance is known for being a revealing and rather adult style of performance. To make matters even worse, the girls were made to wear bodysuits in the same color as their skin. Does Maddie like being naked? No. Does it, does it bother her? Because yes. Paige came home and was like, I'm very uncomfortable doing that. Miller called the whole thing harmless, despite some dancers and their mothers expressing discomfort. The network ended up yanking the episode and excluding it from all of its DVDs and streaming services. I think it's over the top. I think it's unnecessary, uncalled for, too much. And is this all worth it? Number two, hee haw, hee haw, Fear Factor. Imagine a world where your greatest fears become reality. Fear Factor fans used to tune in week after week to see what new dangerous or disgusting challenges the reality show had up its sleeve. But the Hee Ha Hee Ha episode could sicken even the strongest of stomachs. Meant to air in the seventh season, the show challenged sets of twins to drink. Let's just say different bodily fluids from donkeys. Stand on this line and you will throw your horseshoe towards that pin. Whatever number it lands on will represent the amount you will have to drink. Thankfully, NBC pulled the nauseating episode before it made it to air, but it was made available online years later. Now that we think of it, perhaps they should have renamed the show Ick Factor. That was the hardest thing I ever had to watch. Can Listen, I puke now? Yes, you can puke now. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Puerto Rican Day – Seinfeld Just ahead of its series finale, Seinfeld was at the top of its game. 
the Puerto Rican Day episode brought in its highest ratings thus far. But it wasn't exactly a success. Because I know what day this is. They know what day this is. So I was wondering if you know what day this is. Because it's Puerto Rican Day. The episode saw Jerry and his quartet dealing with the New York traffic during the Puerto Rican Day parade. During the climax, Kramer accidentally sets a Puerto Rican flag ablaze and is chased by angry parade attendees. Should it stump you like you stumped the flag? What do you think of that? Look, I just have one thing to say to you boys. NBC faced severe backlash and went ahead and removed the episode, acknowledging their offense. However, the episode was later resurrected as part of the sitcom syndication. You can't do that. You can't just leave the group. I've been trying to leave this group for 10 years. Vaya con Dios. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.